and welcome. We're looking for $2 million homes around the country. This week, it's on Wisconsin, on Wisconsin. So, our friends up north. Here we go. Uh, starting off, there was uh, several of these, the kind of rustic getaway houses. This one is located uh, way up north, up to the what you would think should be the Canadian border, but it's actually the Michigan border uh, in the Upper Peninsula, way up there. Uh, so if you want to get away from it all, this is it. So it has, I think, 26 plus acres, and it's on a wee little lake, but is plenty, plenty private. So this is your classic, uh, you know, log cabiny, rustic, you know, experience. And there's lots of these up there, but this one had like its own stone cottage too, which was I just kind of cool. So it to have its own guest cottage, but like this is the view. There's not, you know, there's not a house, you know. You have this. It's it's a little lake, but it's a nice size lake, and there's not a bazillion houses everywhere. So it just would be a great getaway. Uh, the dock is, is not much to it, <laughs> so that, uh, not a whole lot, but the inside is just, you know, you gotta like the style. If you like the style, I think they nailed it. The rustic woods log cabin -y view of things, and it has its own little stone cottage, which is just fun. Uh, moving on, and I was just very impressed just overall with the houses themselves like this one is 11,000 square feet which isn't even the biggest one um, uh, this one is located uh, just west of Madison and so I guess an hour ish and change to Milwaukee um, on your Wisconsin dial and um, moving down in it 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 was uh, kind of more of a modern look to it they took some chances I'm not sure if all of them paid off uh, they they had some big open rooms, but I, I like it. I I like it. They, they you know it was just it, it's better than some of the ones we'll see coming up. So you would expect that, that this room looked comfy to me. This whole viewing area with, with the bean bags and everything just looked very comfortable to me. And so it was just overall uh, a very enjoyable house and it had like a you know your downstairs kind of but it had a full size basketball indoor basketball court which i thought was totally baller which you know you would need up in wisconsin i think for show and the outdoors i'm not sure if this can be covered but i would the first thing i would do is make sure that this could be i don't know if that's glass up there i would hope so it's got to be for all the snow they get to cover all this but but if it was covered it'd be a great outdoor eating area it's got a nice pool so and a hot tub so these people must not be affected by the temperatures and that's just the ninth house so here we go um this house located um so it, it's about an hour to madison two hours to milwaukee and Three and a half to Minneapolis, so about as central as we're going to get on any of these houses. Um, it's kind of funny when sometimes it's like the house is showing you their rear because their rear is their best part. And here it is, sticking its rear out. Uh, because the front is not as much to go up to. It's got uh, a nice land to it. I think it has 60 acres. And... Um, well, you can see like here, it's they said they have an acre pond, which is really fun. In the back, they have this horse barn. Normally, I don't go for horse barns because that could be a whole separate series of videos. Uh, but it's 90 by 100, so it's just massive. And you could have just a, such a large pot party on this uh, outside deck right here. And... Uh, but the disappointing thing about this guy so they showed like all the business end of it the inside was was not quite up to snuff i thought it was it was like the design was good but just like the the walls and the textures and the flooring was just really plain i do it did have an indoor pool you know so i think that that's cool uh, it, so the uh, long Wisconsin winters, you'd have your pool hot tub combo, which I thought was very neat. And uh, but, but like I said, the rest of it was just kind of plain. And this this barn to me was just kind of thrown in. But uh, ver, you know, 
if you're at all into horses, it would just be a fabulous setup. And so this is the overall all of the land you'd have. So you'd have wonderful privacy. You have your open spaces. You have trees. You know, it, it has a huge fenced area if you did have your horses. So uh, interesting land to say the least. Next up, this one uh, located. Uh, it's really closer to Minneapolis. It was only two hours if you wanted to catch a, a Twins game. It's two hours away, two hours and change. So that's not bad at all. So you're close to a big city and all things of a big city, but you have this privacy and you're on uh, Long Lake, which is uh, actually a pretty nice lake. Uh, like it says, it is really long. So you'd have different areas, your main area where you could... Um, do your motorsports, but then you have a lot of these areas that are probably good for fishing. So that that was a good effect, and it's the look of it has a very Hampton look to me. I don't know, it just and looking up from the water, it had a very Hampton, New York Hampton look to it. Uh, going out, the dock is a little plain. The inside, though, I think was very well pointed. Uh, I like the flooring on it. Uh, so, so this one is just a little bit step up on the amenities, uh, the U-shaped area here in the kitchen. It's uh, a little bit compartmentalized, not totally. You know, your open floor plan, but you know, another just big, huge house with great looks. Your pool table, your pantry, and. Uh, they turned on all the fans to show you the fans work and it has like a bungalow house like a separate so <laughs> so if you're having guests they could just stay here for a fun place just to kind of chill uh moving on like i said they they had a great flavor up here so this one is located in milwaukee so this and it had a really good location because it was uh right across from this park and there's this beach here and uh which is along you know of course lake michigan and um the university of wisconsin milwaukee there's there's just these walking trails there's this huge oak leaf trail which goes like forever um so and there's like shops and whole foods and all that stuff real close but going to the house anyway so so you know your bigger city living so you know that's your view you know, you're, you're that close to all that water. But the inside, it's one of these, they really don't make them like this anymore. And you look at these other modern houses and the, and the attention to detail, the ornate wood, they just don't make them like this anymore. So the inlay flooring throughout was just immaculate and just all over the house it just looked like stories to be told a little cherub that's so cute a little cherub but i mean it you know you have neighbors nearby and if you don't want that uh i'd understand so it's just one of those things i really like this was like your cathedral tub i don't know that the arch just kind of cracked me up uh getting in and out of it would be just make you feel very very regal uh, so that was a very interesting house so moving on so this one is kind of uh, let's see so it's located again about two hours and change to Minneapolis so you're not too far from a big city uh, but this was another kind of family getaway place it's almost a compound to take your uh, you have like the main house which has uh, seven bedrooms and then you have a little little side house and it and it had I was kind of torn on the interior because it's kind of modern rustic and I like beams a lot but this was almost too much beams and I thought this was made in the 80s when it was really made in 2006 so it was just I, I think I, I might like it better in person but it was more open um, between the kitchen and the living room area and I like the windows pointing out to all the water it was a good look um, it the the executive area his and hers or hers and hers or his and his i don't care uh, i did especially like the custom foosball table with the fine wood it was outstanding uh so and then there's this extra little house not a little cabin over here so it like i said it's just a wonderful family compound that 
you could get together with everybody and then um, there'd be space and then they have a wonderful big dock uh, and chairs down there so you could just sit on the water and just hang out and it was on a uh, a pretty good sized lake not not a I don't think that was one of the better lakes but it was all right there's a big water theme for a lot of these which I also kind of surprised me that for as cold as it gets that you know they're very much drawn to the water so this one is located uh, ew, in Green Bay yes Green Bay did very well so some of these houses I don't know if it's the football players get a hold of them or what or I don't know what the big economy is but this one again is 8,000 and not the biggest but this is the TV area and just how they came up with something which incorporated the the circle was just very cool and they did this throughout they kind of went and it has an indoor pool which is awesome for Wisconsin uh, and a big a TV in there so uh, you can keep an eye on everything an outdoor fire pit and nice you know no one right on top of you which is good kind of have this kitchen in the round theme going on but they kind of couldn't really pick a theme it seems like they kept changing a little bit um, and it just seems like everybody got to pick a room so it was a little bit all over the place <laughs> so <laughs> you'd have to really get into the uh, different stylings in every room because it's really all over the place but um you know a big uh party entertainment area workout area so there you go uh next up this one was uh also on the water and it was located um on actual green bay so you have access to that and it was covered and the water, the little land above it kind of, I guess, shelters it a little bit. Uh, they, they said, I'm, I don't know for sure. But this, uh, the interior of it, uh, had very modern, clean stylings. And it said it's 4,000 square feet. It doesn't quite feel like that. It's, you know, it feels more like a brownstone, um, which brownstones can have, you know, they have... Uh, a lot of uh, levels so that's where they get their floor space at but um oh that cracks me up okay but a very you know this the uh, clean modern aesthetic throughout the house was very good the bedroom seemed a bit small uh this is the master bedroom which i like because it has this little seating area out where you can just watch the sunset which would be very fun and it's covered and it's got a fan so um overall very cool it's kind of funny because they tout this, um, they have a boat ramp with um, two jet ski lifts, which is very cool. And then they have a drive through boathouse boat ramp, which is fine, except for they put a hot tub in there. And hot tub has hundreds of pounds of water. You can't just move it willy nilly. <laughs> so um, it's just kind of funny that they have you know this boat ramp but then there's a hot tub in there which a hot tub would be cool but um and and this ramp uh boat dock was actually great for even really big boats so you could put uh your really big cruisers on there would have no problem hooking up um with this setup uh so i think the hot tub would be nice it's a little bit far away from the house and then you can't really use it for the boat dock so I, in a way i don't get it I think it kind of defeats the purpose. But, I mean, this right here would be nice. So, I don't know. Uh, moving on was initially uh, the first place. And the uh, internet is saying no more to you. No internet, no internet. What do we do when we don't have internet? And there we go. Okay, so uh, the... Uh, Last one is just south of Milwaukee, Milwaukee and Racine. Um, uh, come on, man. And it, it, it had a very majestic look to it. Uh, but they kind of should have stuck with the old pattern. I think the new parts just look tacked on. And you can kind of look at this and see um, which parts. Like this garage is very evident that that was added later. Which is fine. I like having 
three car garage. I just kind of wish they would have taken some time to make it all a unified look. Uh, but the interior uh, is, is the kitchen was a little cramped. And I know that's funny me calling that cramped, but there's aspects of this that just felt more like a galley kitchen uh, compared to some of these others. Don't get me wrong, this is like a huge house, but it's a little bit compartmentalized uh, and um, had a tasting room. I guess that was a tasting room. You know, a, a, a place to get a massage. But let's see, what did it? Oh, the cool part was the. I'm just going to have to go to it. Um, the outside had an infinity pool uh, looking over. Uh, uh, here we go. So the pool is pretty spectacular. It, it's uh, so the pool overlooks uh, Lake Michigan, which goes on forever and ever and ever, and has a hot tub, and it's just a great outdoor entertaining venue. And so the water trickles down to the little pond down here, and it says that you have water access, which technically you do, but um, it's all this hard rock stuff. So you're not really gonna hang out at the beach. You, these people over here have an actual beach. So, but if you own a house, you don't want just anybody on your beach. So it's like, eh. Um, but the downside of this house is, look how close it is to the, its neighbors. I mean, you could reach over and give each other, um, you know, do you need a cup of sugar? Here you go. So that's a little weird. I'd like a little bit more privacy from my neighbors and you know, these are pretty close too. Uh, so anyway, here is the number one house. It's got everything. Um, it's got, uh, oh, anyway, it's got everything. So I'm so excited for this because this is the reason I've done this, to find homes like this around the country. The location, you could argue, but the house itself is pretty awesome. 15,000 square feet, okay? They squeeze only five bedrooms, which is a little weird. Uh, so that's a little weird. But it's located. Uh, so in Green Bay. Uh, it's uh, just very big and grandiose. And there's just so much going on this house. This part's not impressive. It does have a, a covered uh, cooking area, which I really appreciate for the elements and for the sun. And we're just gonna, it's got your spiral staircase, which is a big thing for homes. I like the kitchen. I like the kitchen a lot. I like the tile and the ceiling. I like the way it arches. Uh, I like the island. Uh, the stove looked very cool and the countertops and all that. Uh, Normally, I don't go for wallpaper, but I like that. I like that they took a chance with it. And this is just your grand poobah area. Very vaulted ceilings and wonderful, you know, show people how you have arrived with great big Florida ceiling windows is going on forever in your baby grand. Um, very elegant. And then, and then your master bedroom with the spiral staircase coming up to all your dressing areas your sitting areas and your grand bathroom which I just uh, had its own seating area but then has its own fabulous tub with tons and tons of windows and it's a fi own fireplace a wonderful executive area with a, like a built-in roll top um, you know previously I said they don't make houses like that anymore this is in parts of it getting close they have this weird place in a kid's room where you can go up here, which I'm thinking, how many accidents happened on that? I didn't quite get that. That was a bit odd. Um, but these bedrooms are bigger than the last, and it's got an indoor pool uh, because you have to have the indoor pool. With uh, I think that's a little slide even. I didn't notice that till now. Uh, and it's got you know a shower by it, of course, and you got this nice theater room and you got your downstairs bar poker area and entertainment area with your billiards 
right there and your of course your wine cellar and your tasting room and oh yeah also an indoor gym too you know with your full three point uh arc so and a ping pong table which instantly gives me points although i have no idea how that's being held up i could fall over at any point and it's also got a crafting room and a kids room a little kids room and your mud room and your laundry room and it said in the description it has two laundry rooms one on each floor which you know that is really handy if you have a house that big so anyway so i hope you enjoyed wisconsin was lots of fun uh, i hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and take care